Multi-page support within Wheat can essentially be used to create cheap server-side routes within our application. In this lesson, we will look at how we can set it up in the basic React TypeScript template. So let's go. Here we have the basic React TypeScript template that we initialized in a previous lesson that I will link to in the video description. Now the first thing that we want to do before we start making multiple pages is to move our main index.html into the source folder so that all our source code and the different pages live inside the source folder. Now after we make that move, of course we will have to modify the paths within index.html to be correctly relative to the src folder. Now with this move complete, let's make a different application entry point. Our different application entry point will be in this folder called about. We copy over the index.html from our project root and paste that into this about folder to create a separate page. Now of course this page is going to need its own application entry point and we will create one called about.tsx within the same folder so we modify the src attribute for the script tag. And then within the same folder we create this about.tsx file and we won't do anything fancy over here we just bring in react react dom and render out a basic h1 mentioning that you are on the about page and that should suffice to demonstrate a different application entry. Now with this about page created and you can create as many pages as you want, the final step will be configuring these for wait in wait.config.ts. Now because we will be providing paths to the different files, it makes sense to have the node type definitions at hand, so we install them as a dev dependency. With that done, we can import the resolve function from the built-in node path module. The first thing that we want to modify is the wait root. As mentioned, we want all our source code to be in the src folder, so we resolve that and store it into the root variable. Now once you have the wait root set, it actually moves the wait output directory as well, so we resolve that back to the dist folder that it was previously. And now we can pass in the root option to the wait config using our root variable. And now for the meat of the options that we want to modify, which are all under the build key for wait config. We specify that the build output should stay in the dist folder using the outdir and because this is going to be outside the project root which is src, we have to explicitly tell wheat that it's okay to clear this folder and finally within our rollup options we specify that the input should include our main application entry point which is root index.html as well as the about application entry point which is root about index.html. And that's it, we've successfully created a multi-page wheat application. To summarize, you can add as many pages as you want by creating new index.htmls and pointing to the application entry points and then adding them to the wheat config over here. As a final step, let's demonstrate this application by opening up the terminal and executing npm run dev to start our development mode. This of course opens up our main application entry point and we can append about slash to the URL to visit the about page. Now strictly speaking, during development, we don't actually have to add our application entry points into the rollup options input. This is because the dev server reads directly from the src folder, which is one of the reasons why it's extremely fast. However, these options are required for creating production build. So let's do that now by opening up the terminal and executing npm run build. Once this command completes, you can see that our application has been bundled into the dist folder. Within dist, we have an about folder containing an index.html, which allows the web server to respond to that particular route. And all the bundling assets are contained within the assets folder. Now we can ensure the validity of our production built application by serving this dist folder up locally by executing npm run serve. And if you open this URL up within our browser, you can see that our main application entry point is working just fine. And just like during development, we can append about slash to the URL to visit the about page. We've fundamentally done two things within this lesson. We've demonstrated how to add multiple application entry points for Wheat, along with modifying the Wheat root so that you don't have to deal with SRC throughout your code base. If you enjoyed this quick lesson, then smash that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.